Hey guys, Malaya here at IT Supplies. So Epson boasts its high quality, vibrant image output. And so today on the Epson SureColor F2100, we're gonna take a 4K camera and do a start to finish production of a t-shirt to show you and to teach you how to get great quality output on your Epson SureColor F2100. Let's go. Okay, here we are guys. So I have my F2100, I have my DK20A, and I have my Lawson AE Zoom pre-treater, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do is when we take our shirts out of the box, our fibers come up when we pull them apart, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna lay down the fibers on my garment first, because I'm gonna walk you all the way through how to print this garment. Now, I am gonna use a silicone parchment sheet that is going to protect my heat press. I'm only gonna set this for a couple of seconds just to lay down those fibers, so that way when we get to printing, you won't see those fibers sticking up through my image. I only needed that for a couple of seconds. I'm gonna reuse this when I go ahead and cure my pre-treat. Next, I'm gonna use my Lawson AE Zoom pre-treater here. And I am going to lay this down just like I would on my platen. Tuck my sides, make sure it's flat. This doesn't take much time at all. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put my wet garment on the heat press. And in the effort not to make you wait a minute until I finish curing this, I already have a shirt that is ready to go ahead and start getting printed. But we're gonna go ahead and cure this shirt. We're using 320 degrees for one minute, okay? Next, after you're done curing your pre-treat, you're gonna go ahead and set your garment up here. And yes, it's a little bit of an eye shoot, but we do have arrows here and an arrow here. And I know that I'm gonna put at least three fingers with right here. I'm gonna use my hoop system. You can also use a grip pad. And I'm gonna lay that flush. Make sure that all of my corners are nice and tucked. And this is a flat surface for us, all right. Now we're actually at ready to print. So I'm gonna press start on here. While we're ready for, waiting for the machine to get itself prepared, um, things that you should know. When I set up my image inside of Garment Creator, what I did was I put it in and I put it to the size that I want it to be. So because we're working on a 14 by 16 platen, I went ahead and set my garment up to be a little bit smaller than 14 by 16, um, just because the typical size that you'll see being used on a 14 by 16 is usually a seven by eight image in the industry. Um, after I did that, I then went into my settings to then figure out what, how I wanted the actual image to print. So I did use garment black, whereas we're not gonna print black ink onto our black garment, so it's gonna save you money in ink there. And then I did a level four. Typically, a lot of people print on level three as a middle of the road setting because we have one through six for quality settings. Well, instead of printing on three, I wanted to take it a little bit further just so you can see some details and outlines and put it on a level four. And because we're looking at high quality and vibrant images, I did go ahead and go inside my custom settings for striking and put us at a level two, just so you can see what the machine can do. Okay, now that our image is done, we are ready to go ahead and put it back on the heat press so that we can now, as you can see it, beautiful. We can now heat set our garment, and then we have a t-shirt. Again, that is 325 degrees for 60 seconds. Um, you can expect to have a resolution output of 1440 by 1440 on the F2100. We also set up our image um, when we were designing it to be 300 DPI when we were going through and doing it. So I hope these tips and tricks can assist you and being able to output the highest quality 
image for your customers. Here's our final product, guys. As you can see, we have some very vibrant colors here. You can see some gradients. We don't have any fibers sticking up. So um, as you can see, very high quality products. And um, as always, I really hope that this video was very, very informative. It helps you put out some really good products to customers. And please like, comment, subscribe, and share. See you next time, guys.